Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you one of the extra settings that you have in your Tizish admin panel to basically do the following. So, here's the basically to how to get more home search widgets appearing in different sections. So, basically, here's the example. We're on demo.tizish.com, and you see how normally it, this would be two uh, search buttons a home search button and a city search button. But if you have DSID Express with us, you have the option to enter a DSID Express form in this section. I'm going to show you how to do that, as well as, let's say if you go to a city page, such as Atlantis, let's say, down here, if you want to make your search form appear at the top of your city page here, so that way someone could search it right when they, right when they land on your city page, I'll show you how to do that as well on this same video tutorial. So first, let's go ahead and refresh these pages. I'm going to use this example of the page called cities found here since there's no form here and then we'll go back to our home page and we'll hit refresh and we'll see that this will go back to the default so there we go so now here's everything you need to do you need to first log into your admin panel and you'll start at the dashboard actually you won't be on this screen when you start when you start in the admin panel you'll be here at the dashboard so from the dashboard where you want to go is on your left hand side under appearance you'll see edit Tizish theme options go ahead and click on that link and then once you're here scroll to the very bottom of these options and you'll see the section here DSID Express options if applicable basically there's two options one of them to show the search tool on the home page which was the section I showed you here where that where it was on the home page replacing these two buttons and then the other option is activate the sidebar for pages and categories and that means by activate the sidebar that means activate the search form section here alright so what you want to do is you choose your options but I'm going to pretend that, the, that you want to do both of them so what you want to do is hit yes onto both of these for whichever ones you want to activate after hitting yes you want to update Tizish options and after you update the Tizish options you'll see the following happen the you're barely halfway through so the first step is now done which is we activate the option so when I hit refresh this, these buttons will be gone but now what we have to do is enter the search form into the section and now let's go to this page when I hit refresh no search form will appear here yet but at least the code is activated to enter it in the section so now let's go to our next step and that's back in our admin panel under appearance once again but this time go to widgets and now once once this page loads up here in the widgets what we need to do is drag the IDX search form the IDX search form itself into the appropriate sidebars so here we have the DSID Express search form which is right here under IDX search what you want to notice is the following in your sidebar you have two sidebars one called search homes widget and it has a hyphen the word pages slash categories which is unfortunately cut off and then another one called search homes widget hyphen home page let's do it very simple let's do what you want to do is put the search form take, and, take, take it, the one that says IDX search put that into the search homes widget and what this is doing is this is activating the search homes widget for this section here but here's the key thing you need to do the following exactly first of all put on a title that's not too long so search all demo beach homes and of course you'd put in your respective title now for the cities do the following click on see all city names here it'll open up a new window just take all the cities that you have that or that you want to choose and basically we'll paste them here but here's the key thing with this you're pretty much done now but notice how there's options to display only choose the cities option you can't choose more than um, one option here in this section or else it'll be too big so only choose cities after that scroll down and simply hit save and now once you save and we go back to our home page we hit refresh we'll see the search form here in this section so there it is just like that remember how I said don't put communities don't check off the communities tracks and zips or anything like, anything like that because here's what happens if we go ahead and do that and we hit save what happens is your form will get too big so it's it's done saving when I hit refresh now this will be too big to fit in the in the in the area so see now how we can't hit the search button so that's why you should only have one option chosen which is I think cities is the best option so you would just go with cities there alright and after that you want to hit on save 
And now, at this point, now let's go over how to put in a search form into your cities or into any category or any page for the matter. So I'm going to show you as a category. So I've already have some done on the demo site. So if you click on Atlantis, you'll see how I have one example here. And I have them pretty much for all these three cities. Um, I'm not going to show you for these three cities. I'm going to show you for a new one, let's say. I'm going to show you for a, just the category called cities because it's the same exact steps. So here's what you want to do. What you want to do now is go back to your widgets and this time ignore ignore the sidebar named search homes widget home page. What we want to do now is open the one called search homes widget pages category. This one here. And I already have four of them in here. I'm going to act like they're blank because these four are already here for the other pages I talked about a little bit ago with Atlantis and so forth. So what I want to do now is put a new form for the cities. And this would be for any page or category you want. So here's what you do. Take the same concept, take the IDX search form, put it into your sidebar, and now give it a title. So we'll call this um, search, search form for city category. And then after that, you could choose all these features. In this one, you could do all these if you want. It's up to you. I personally like the following. So if I'm, so since, well, since we did this, let's just take it out, and I'll use the example we already have. Since we have Atlantis here, since we're doing, since we're, so let's just pretend we're doing the example for Atlantis. This will be easier, actually. So since we have the search form here for Atlantis, right? If you're going to put it on, if you're going to put a search form, and it's going to be search homes for one specific region, meaning if someone clicks on the city Atlantis, then you want this, the only city option to be Atlantis. Meaning, in your, when you put your sidebar widget in here. Do make the title search all then whatever city name is that you have here and then when you select cities only choose the one city named Atlantis or whatever your respective city is now after that here comes the key thing this is the crucial part to make this fully work when you scroll down you have options here called it's by default it'll say hide on checked what you need to do is check hit the check mark or hit this drop down put show on check and then scroll down and choose the category or the page you want this to show up on. So see how I have it checked as Atlantis? Now I click on save. After that, that now will allow this form to appear here big and loud and clear. And now here's the key reason what we just did, just to explain to you. You know how I just now showed you here how it's important to put show unchecked and then choose the specific page or category? That's important for the following reason. Let's say if you didn't touch this, we'll just put hide on checked, like no, or we won't even touch it. We'll put this back to the default. And now when I hit on save, here's what's going to happen. If we do that, what's going to happen is this search form, search all Atlantis homes, is going to appear on every single page and every single category. So let's say if I click on sellers, it's going to be messed up. It's going to show up, see how it shows up here, even though I'm in the sellers category. And let's say I click on buyers I click on the buyers category and basically I scroll down I'm now in buyers but notice how the same forms here well that's a mistake so in order to make that not have that issue what you have to do is what I showed you which is in your widget be sure to put show unchecked and choose the only pages or categories you want this on so here's your pages and now let's scroll down to categories and we want it only on Atlantis so we're showing on check only on Atlantis now when I hit save what's going to happen is this code will only see now we're in the buyers this code will only be activated on Atlantis so when I hit refresh this mistake will now be corrected and there it is now we have our categories like normal so that's pretty much everything I want to show you one more quick thing same concept when you click on home search by default you have a home search form either your IDX or one like this if you're using just DSID Express then here's what you want to do alright so what you want to do is the following go to your widgets and pretty much do the same thing we just talked about right now with putting the IDX search widget, you know, giving it a title, giving it the cities and everything. But this time for pages, under pages, find the search for homes pages. And now when I click on save, what's going to happen is we could put this same search form here on our search for homes pages. So when I hit refresh, we'll see that the search form appear here. So now we have it there. So you see, so at least we could use this search form here on your main home search button if you're only using DSID Express. At least it gives you a, a simple way to do it. All right? So that's pretty much everything on this tutorial. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish, the way you see tizish spelled here, and ask me there. Good luck and take care.